Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Oh my god, I am. And we are playing, <laughs> playing Madden 21, KCZ. Wow. It's the KCZ season. Chief boys. KC and JoJo. All my life. Yeah, that one. Go ahead, keep going. Mm-mm. I'll sing. I'll sing JoJo's part if you sing. Casey. What's, what's JoJo's part? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I thought you were gonna finish my sentence because I think that's what they do for each other. He's like, all my life, and then you go, oh, wait for someone oh, like you. Yeah. I think that I finally found you. Yeah, dude, that's what we found. You. I can't yeah. do that one though. That one's hard. <laughs> yeah, finally found you. Yeah, I gotta get real low with it. Um, Casey and Joe. He, Joe uses, a lot of, he, he uses a lot of falsetto. Yeah, dude. They used to be in Joe to see, dude. Come and talk to me. Yeah. That was the jam, dude. <laughs> I don't know much about music, to be honest. Jones, why do they call it a pigskin? Because it's made from leather. No, it's like leather comes from a cows. Cow. Yeah. Did they used to make it out of pigskin? Um. I don't know. I would, I would assume That's they did. That's a good did. question. I would assume they did. They did. That's why. Uh, <laughs> like back when they used to wear like those barely there helmets. Just like leather caps. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, oh, dude, we just put a piece of leather on our face. That's good, right? I, I mean, they didn't know about uh, CTs back then. No, dude, it didn't exist then. I mean, it, no, it definitely existed. I wonder. Probably worse than it does here. I feel like, you know, football's always had, wow, serious injuries. But I wonder if as time's gone on, the injuries get more serious because people are more trained directly to be bigger, stronger, faster. And then, like, you can be bigger, stronger, faster, yes, but your body is not, even if you're bigger, stronger, faster, it doesn't allow you to take more damage. I mean, a little bit, yeah. but I think the proportion of how much damage you can do compared to how much damage you can take by being strong, bigger, stronger, faster is disproportionate. Do you, do you think that we're bigger, stronger, faster than what we used to be? Absolutely. I mean, because, like, when they used to play in the 60s, dude, they, those dudes had, like, other jobs. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. just played okay. football on the side. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, okay, I feel that. They're taking from a different stock of human being at this point. Like, right. Well, not these getting... guys, like, have been training to be football players their, their entire life. life. Yeah. 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 Like, well, think about UFC. When UFC first started, it was just, like, random dudes. I do I do jujitsu. You do whatever. And now these guys are literally training from the time they're in a, a youth to be rounded fighters in every style just to, like, destroy a man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll give you that. So the guys in the league are harder when you hit them, and they hit harder. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But I don't think humans in general even if you're that much stronger you're not able to take that much more damage your knee is your knee dude right. your acl is your acl the acl is the same as it was in 1965 yeah it's about the muscles surrounding it that can survive the impact right muscles and adipose but then the problem bad. is you're so muscular that there's almost more strain on your actual tendons yeah. because if you get yep. hit the wrong way, your muscles don't have as much flexibility. Yeah, that's why they have to like. Uh, there's a like an ideal balance of m muscle to lean. Right. Yeah. Because if you're just like solid, like those big bodybuilder dudes that are solid muscle, I guarantee yeah. you, if they twist their leg wrong, they probably blow out tendons. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious. Have you ever seen like? Uh, Dude has, has like a bodybuilder friend. Arms are just humongous. So he takes like a kick me sign and puts it on his back, and dude can't get it off of his back. Because yeah, because he arms, lost flexibility. Because his arms are just so huge that he can't reach. Or you ever seen like a guy like with those big muscles try to take like try to like put a shirt on or yeah. take a shirt on? Yeah. They just get they get it stuck and they can't. Right, dude. That's like it's crazy. Yeah, I mean it's a good problem to have. Right, but right. it's still a problem. If right. I can't take something off the, I can't scratch like the small of my back. That's right. Like everyone has limitations in their reach, but yes, if you can't like, like touch your armpit because your arm's so big, like, or you can't like just like reach over your back and take a piece of paper off your shoulder, right? That's too big. <laughs> that's too big. So yeah, they have to be flexible and strong football right. players. Exactly. It's but I think you know. But I think that's why the injuries are more often now because yeah, these dudes are running. 
Dude, some of these like defensive interesting. He Anyways, just let I'll you in. <laughs> <clears throat> some of these defensive dudes are like 240 pounds and they're running four and a half second 40 yard dashes. You're like, that's a lot of weight to be moving that fast. Yeah. And then you hit a dude full full bore, like boom. When they're not like planted and ready, you he's, can literally he's make going them. like twelve miles per hour. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. Just like, boom. Like you're gonna get effed up, dude. And if your legs planted in the ground yeah, when you hit you, yeah. your legs getting messed up. Yeah. Like it's just yeah. Everybody loves the hard hit, though, but those are the ones that, like, maim people for life. I mean... It's like the savage... It's This is like the modern-day gladiator. It really is, to a certain extent. It really is. It's just, like, dangerous, un unnecessary danger. Oh, absolutely. Now, they do try to make it better, and they have put stuff in place where, like, you can't lead with your helmet. They used to teach you to lead, lead with, your, with helmet. your helmet. Yeah. So, so they don't do that anymore. You lead with your shoulder. You can't like hit like if a receiver's running across the field like unprotected. You can't just like smash them. You have to like you can like there's a way to attack horse collars. Right, horse collars. Uh, they protect the quarterback. Like you know yep. you can't just like unnecessary roughness. Like if you have the ability to slow down, you have to. You can't just smear them. I like, remember. I don't know. Was that unnecessary roughness or like uh, roughing the pass? Or was that a thing in, like, early football when we were, like, a in the 90s or something? I'm trying to think. I think it was, but it wasn't as, yeah. like... I feel like I've seen some quarterbacks take some hits. Oh, man. yeah, dude. They absolutely have. And the one they protect the quarterbacks when they're running, so the quarterback can slide feet first, and you can't hit them if they're slide feet. Mm -hmm. But if you don't slide feet first, they can get lit up. It's like... And it's like they, <laughs> if you're going out of bounds, you can't hit them as they're going out of bounds where they used to smash you as you were going. So they've really tried to, like... Deviolentize it. It incentivizes goonetry, man. It, it really did. And gooning is just like purposely trying to hurt somebody. Well, and then they had that scandal where that one coach, was, they, the players had a pool. Like if you knocked players out of the game, you'd get money. <laughs> Wait, what? They put bounties on people's heads. Like Wait you, a minute, hold on. This was in the last ten years. Okay, well, tell me about it. It was a coach. His name was Greg Williams. Yeah, and I think it was for the Saint when he when he was with, with the Saints. They would have bounty pools, and the players on defense would put in money, and they'd be like, "If you knock Brett Favre out of the game, because they the, the big the big story was like they had a bounty on Brett Favre to knock Brett Favre out of the game. <laughs> Whoa! And like if, <laughs> he had a hit on on his and head if you in knock the NFL. Him out of the game, you get the pool, like whatever it would be, a few hundred dollars, few thousand dollars, because everyone throws in a few hundred bucks or whatever. Or if you knock any player out, you get you know, just to be ruthless and like. Freeze your game. And freeze your game? Oh, okay. We're back. It's back. <laughs> they, they had to take a long look at the, uh, the card. Yeah, they're like, oh, this play card is amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. So you could put it. But I mean, okay, so that's one extreme. I would just want to take a look at the opposite end of the spectrum. Okay. Should you not try to hit the person as hard as you can? <laughs> Well, I mean, like, when I was a kid, I to remember To make that was, sure to ensure the tackle. Like, when I was younger, I just remember the mindset was, like, you want to knock the other players out of the game. Like, and not, it wasn't, like, a vengeful, like, you want to maim them forever. You want them not to play, dude. You want to, like... That's not... Okay, see, now that... I feel like that's, like, middle of the spectrum. End of the spectrum is, like, actual hits on players. Middle is you got to knock them out of the game. And I'm thinking, like, just, like, you know neutral good or like lawful good is like you gotta hit them as hard as you can to ensure that you knock that you tackle them right well that and you want to try to knock the ball loose you want exactly. like so like you don't want to like pussyfoot around and like be like uh, and like barely try to because they're they're strong dude they you need force to take them down yeah yeah you gotta hit them you don't if you hold back because you're afraid you're gonna hurt somebody then you're not going to be a good you're gonna tackler. You're going to hurt yourself. You're not, or that. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to be a good tackler, or you're not going to. You're not going to. Uh, you're going to end up hurting yourself. Because they always say the people who end up getting hurt are the people who are afraid to get hurt because they're taking so many precautions to not yeah. get hurt. They're not just doing what's natural. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see that. And uh, then you're like. Wow, Man. that court, that guy is so bad he couldn't make a forty-yard field goal. With fo that was trash, bro. <laughs> Wow, forties, forties a long in. No, dude, not for a, a professional kicker. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. So 
Yeah, I, I can't believe that it got. To, I'm, you know, and I honestly feel like I feel like I'm shooting them some bail or giving them the benefit of the doubt. It was like probably a joke, or did they actually have? Oh money? no, they got fined by the NFL and stuff. Like that well, coach, that coach had to like sit out a year. Like they really, they really pound. And okay. here's That's the thing: crazy. That's the tip of the iceberg. You know. And it took it took like years for that to get spilled out. That was like an wow. unspoken thing, you know. Wow. That, and somehow it got That's spilled. Nuts. So if that happened with one team, you yeah. know it was happening other places. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. I, like I don't know if it was like a devious syndicate that was just like planned right, hits, right, right, right. hits on different players, but I could see that other teams would probably employ something like that. Right. Like AO, hey, you took out you took out the quarterback. Good job. We're gonna give you a bonus. Good right. job taking them out. Just doing my job, coach. Right, exactly. It's yeah. so crazy, dude. Yeah, because essentially, like, you want, do you, like, do you have a better chance to win if you knock the starting quarterback out? Absolutely. The, the backup quarterback is rarely anywhere near as good as the starting quarterback. Yeah, wow. Knock yeah. out the starting running back? The backup running back ain't nearly as good as the starting running back. You know what I mean? All right. Well, okay, piggybacking off of this, yes. because I feel like it was important for us to talk about that. When you think about kids playing uh, the sport and them basically having that mindset put into their heads, how, right. how's, what's your viewpoint on oh, that? Oh, I don't like that at all. And I think they've been taking a lot more stuff in kids. And I think, and I think that's probably the main reason that real football has changed their tune. Mm -hmm. Because... If you see the professionals doing it a certain way, that's how you want to do it as a kid. I mean, but to be a professional, you have to do it that way. Oh yeah, you got to be. You you to a certain extent, these guys are insane. <laughs> All right, <laughs> a lot of these guys are insane because they're like, I for my job go out there and hit other people as hard as I possibly can. I feel like this falls right into like boxing, but not quite as like it's, UFC. It's, it's in yeah. a different it's in a different yeah. category, but similar. Yeah, like some of these guys probably would have been UFC. I just kind of feel like the, they run in similar lanes. Other sports like baseball, not so much because there's not so much like I got to cause damage to another human living creature or whatever. Right, right, it is. yeah. Like like baseball, basketball's not like that. Yeah. Now you will you will get the occasional flagrant foul or something, but it's yeah. rare and it yeah. it isn't like maiming. It yeah, like yeah, exactly. They don't wear pads. You know? <laughs> right, they don't, wear, like, they don't even wear elbow pads. And, and uh, right, and the only collision you get in baseball is at the home plate if there's yeah, ever a collision, yeah, and yeah. those are very few and far between. Yeah, there's a lot more sport. In other sports, football is a lot of sport, but it's also a lot of violence. Violence. <laughs> in right. hockey, hockey is pretty close to. Yeah, because you get, dude, they go even faster because they're yeah. on skating on ice. Yeah. So they go like 20 miles an hour and just boom right into the board, dude. Slam your ass up against the wall quick. Yeah, dude. At least they're pliable walls, you know? They have like give, they're not like a brick wall. <laughs> like, yeah. Break your ribs into your ribs. <laughs> So when I when I, okay I said kids what about like teenagers man should should a middle schooler be doing this should a high schooler be doing but this? but you also got to think they don't have the ability to run as fast and to hurt someone as bad either like but you're dealing with smaller frames smaller person I mean, I know I will say is that kids obviously bounce back from stuff a lot faster than even these guys would oh yeah for sure but yeah I don't know man it, it's just kind of nuts. <laughs> I'm not saying to outlaw football. It's I'm a unique culture. Ban football. But it's def it definitely percent <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Because it's it's and like it's that culture that like unless you're part of it, you won't understand it. No. Completely. You know what I mean? Now I I do like playing football. Like if I were you know not old, if I wasn't if I wasn't old, if I wasn't locked in the house for like the last couple of months here, I'd have to like I feel like I'd have to train a little bit. Yeah, but but I would go out and play a game of football. Yeah, um, like you just know, like touch football. Let's touch go. football, yes. Because yeah. I'll be real with you. Before lockdown, I played volleyball numerous times a week, so I was in all right shape. Like you know, doing a lot of physical. Yeah, you're at least you were moving. Yeah, I wouldn't have went and played tackle football. Oh, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm an old ass man, dude. Like yeah. I will get broke. If not someone tackle tackled me. me for real, I probably would break a leg. Yeah, if you tackle me, <laughs> we're fighting directly after that. <laughs> and once you right. get up and get your leg broke, uh, yeah. cast. You give me, you give me three minutes to make sure I'm not permanently injured, and then we're fighting. Right. Yeah. So you got plenty of time to run away <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> before I'm like, ah. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I'm not, nah, dude. I'm good, dude. I'm, I don't like. 
I uh, I played football. The last time I played actual football, and we played tackle. Mm. I was a grown man. I worked at Blockbuster. I was like 25 or 6. Mm -hmm. And, like, I distinctly remember, like, I really had the opportunity to really crush someone. And, like, I w in my, my, my adult brain kicked in enough to be like, slow it down a little bit before you smash this dude. Because like, we weren't wearing pads. I would have been just as hurt as that dude. <laughs> and, uh, and it was funny because later that night... After the playing, dude, I was so tired. Like, because it's just so exhausting playing, like, something like that and getting hit like that and, like, whatever, dude. I was Word. just, like, like dying, nor maiming someone I work with. It was a bunch no. of people that worked at Blockbuster. Like, I'm going to maim another Oh, that was here. a long time ago then. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It's been a while for me, too. Last time I played football was actually, you remember the greenhouse? Yes. The greenhouse. What was the school? That was around oh, the Columbus corner. Avenue, the what Columbus Junior High? Yes, and we played in there. They had like that field that was like basically right up against the road or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. It was, I think it was a, had like a soccer goal in it. Or something. Yes. Yeah. So I went there and I played with a bunch of guys. I believe Beeman was there. I know that Todd was there, and there was a couple other people. I think Lou was there. It sounds like something those guys did at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So and we like we were younger, obviously, and I remember we were playing football. I got a pass caught it was running in scored a touchdown but i got hit right before i scored the touchdown dude hit me in the face my lip just like exploded <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really explode but he split. but he just started bleeding yeah he split it and i had to i had to go to school the next day with like this freaking giant scar on my upper lip dude it sucked so bad yeah dude getting your face broken <laughs> sucks, regardless of how, how old you are but i was like it was like i was proud of it i was like got the touchdown though yeah, and everybody's right? like yeah but your face i was like i got the touchdown. yeah whatever dude this face lift touchdown was Legendary. <laughs> what the hell happened? He got a touchdown. And I'm like, oh, in a pickup game. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle school. <laughs> in the soccer field, dude. I did it. I got the touchdown, though. I got Good that for you, touchdown. dude. I'm glad. I mean, it's worth it. There was a dude that cut off a piece of his finger, Jonas. Yeah, Ronnie Lott. Yep, crazy, dude. Yeah, you're going to tell me that's not a little bit of nuts? Look, I don't care how much you're paying me an hour. Right, he's like, he's like, oh, I could not play the rest of the game or cut off the tip of my pinky. I take it. Yeah. For one game, it wasn't even like the Super Bowl or anything. It was just uh, a game. I'm good. I'll pass. Thank you. I couldn't like the fact I couldn't even function with that degree of pain. Like me getting my lip split a little bit, I could still play. Obviously, I think I quit the game after that. But I'm like, guys, I'm going home. F you. Yeah, these guys play with like broken bones. They're like, hey, you got three ribs and a concussion. Yep. Right. Yeah. They're like, oh, you have a fractured rib, but we can just shoot you up. You won't feel anything during the game. <laughs> do they do that for real? Do they have like painkillers on? They give this? injections. Yeah, absolutely. Injections of what? Like they can e it can either give it like a uh, like a numbing agent. So you don't feel it. Uh, I'm sure they probably give you uh, what's cor cortisone, like cortisone shots. Yeah, nothing narcotic. Obviously, no, I, I uh, doubt they're in there giving them like shots of morphine for it. They got <laughs> they got to be able to like function, have motor skill. You know what I mean? I mean, I honestly think a lot of it is numbing agent. Like you're like, yeah. oh, dude, my ankle. I got a, a partially sprained ankle. They're like, okay, we'll shoot you up with a numbing agent. Put some icy hot on it and wrap it up as tight as we right. possibly can. And then, and then you don't feel it. Like, yeah. it, and then maybe yeah. at halftime they give you another numbing shot or yeah. whatever. Or, and, then, and now they might give you like ibuprofen and stuff just for pain. You know, just yeah. general, like a general anti-inflammatory, etc. <sighs> man, that's nuts, man. I can I'd see, and that that's kind of crazy to me because I feel like any other job, if I get hurt to the point where like, oh, you have a sprained ankle guess what i'm going home for the day yeah i'm going home i'm gonna take the rest of the day see, here's the thing they only get 16 opportunities to play a year <sighs> so there's so 340 days of the year you don't get a chance to play hey i only got two hands and two ankles i feel you dude that's why all these dudes are messed up and like have <laughs> lingering stuff for life dude yeah man keep keep football players in your in your prayers or whatever right right uh but uh yeah that's all the time we have today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe you did that he does twitch tnt dynamite that's twitch.tv backslash tnt d-i-n-o-m-i-g-h-t underscore crazy town hang out heck yeah for jonas bro <laughs> <laughs> wait we are Oh.